Hello, students. Are you ready for another English in the News lesson? Okay, we are live. So today's lesson is about an article I read about what Facebook and Google should do about some of the fake news articles that are appearing on their sites and how these fake news articles can influence people, uh, people's opinions, especially when considering the recent presidential election. So get ready, I'm going to teach you eight words and phrases from this article. So the article started out by talking about we are in the wake of the presidential election. In the wake of is an expression that simply refers to after, the period of time after usually a major event or something that causes a lot of uh, change or disruption, okay? This word wake in this context, it's not talking about being awake, like not sleeping. When you have a boat that's going through water, and so the water is normally very calm, right? And when the boat goes through the water, it leaves an area of agitated water behind the boat, right? And that is called the wake of the boat, okay? It's the agitated water that uh, is present after the boat passes through. So when, more generally, when we say in the wake of a particular event, it refers to the period of time afterwards. So usually an event that has changed things or made some disturbances in the normal situation and now we're talking about the period of time after. So right now as I'm recording this video in November of 2016 we are in the wake of the most recent presidential election here in the United States. So in the wake of the election Facebook and Google are coming under fire what does that mean? If something is under fire, it means it is being very strongly uh, criticized or people are accusing it of doing something wrong, okay? You can have a company under fire, you can have a person under fire, so if there's a person at the company who made a lot of bad decisions and then people are getting angry and accusing the person and criticizing the person, that person is under fire, okay? If you're under fire, it means you re you're receiving a lot of criticism and accusations. So right now, in the wake of the recent presidential election, Facebook and Google are under fire because there are some fake and some misleading articles that appeared on Facebook and Google. So we have fake and misleading. Something that is fake is false. It's not true. Okay, that's what the word fake means. And misleading is a little bit different. Something that is misleading means it's uh, deceptive. It gives you the wrong impression to lead you in the wrong direction. Okay, like I'm trying to think of another example. Okay, let's say you're driving and you're trying to get to New York City and you see a sign that says New York City is uh, to the right. And so you think, okay, it's directing me to the right, so you go to the right. But actually the sign was saying that New York City is maybe the next right after that. And so you took the wrong turns. So you would say, oh, that sign was misleading. It looked like it was true, but it actually led me in the wrong direction. So when we, when we talk about a news article that's misleading, this might be an article where the headline makes it sound different than the facts really are, or it gives a more extreme impression than the truth, okay? So something that is fake, a news article that is fake is completely false, completely imaginary, completely different from reality, and something that is misleading is usually just somewhat different. It just leads you a little bit away from the truth or the correct direction, all right? 
So basically, a lot of people are criticizing Facebook and Google for allowing fake and misleading articles to spread and be shared on their websites. But, and they want Facebook and Google to stop these fake and misleading articles. But Facebook and Google are a little bit reluctant to do that. Reluctant, if you are reluctant, it means you really don't want to. You are hesitating. Maybe you have some doubts about if this is the right thing to do. So to be reluctant means you really don't want to do something. And if you're maybe going to go very slowly or you're going to hesitate before doing it. Facebook and Google are reluctant to uh, stop publication of these news articles because they say that they are neutral areas. So uh, something that is neutral means it is in the middle and it doesn't uh, support one side or the other side, okay? Something is neutral it means they, they have no opinion, they are just regular, um, in the middle and so Facebook is saying we are neutral that means we allow publication of news from one side of the opinion and the other side of the opinion and so because Facebook and Google say they are neutral that's why they are reluctant to stop some of these uh, publications because they don't want to start judging what is true and what is not true because they then they wouldn't be neutral anymore. Then they would have to take a more active role in analyzing the news. But they're, they, they are trying to answer some of the critics. So critic is a challenging word, okay? It's a noun the adjective form is critical and that also has a couple different meanings maybe i'll make a separate lesson on that later but if a person is a critic there are two potential meanings so in this article critics of facebook and google are the people who are criticizing facebook and google the people who are saying bad things uh, about them or saying that they are wrong and they need to change so a critic can be someone who uh, is against something or someone who criticizes. Now, you also might see uh, people talking about a movie critic or an art critic. In this case, it's a little bit different. It just, it doesn't mean someone who says bad things about a movie or someone who says bad things about art. A movie critic and an art critic, those are people who evaluate movies and art. So they analyze the movie or the art and they give their opinion both the good and the bad, okay? So in the context of movies and art and literature, a critic is just someone who evaluates these works of art. But when you hear someone talking about a critic uh, or critics of a new law or critics of a particular politician, then that usually means people who are against it, people who uh, oppose it, they, they criticize it, all right? So in this, in this context, uh, critics of Facebook and Google are the people who are saying bad things. They are saying Facebook and Google are wrong for allowing these misleading news articles to be published. So uh, in an attempt to satisfy the critics, uh, Facebook said that it would bar fake news sites from using paid advertising. So you're probably already familiar with the word bar as a noun, meaning a place where you can drink alcohol, or bar can also mean a metal bar, like you might see in a jail. But in this context, bar is being used as a verb, meaning to prevent or not to allow. So if Facebook tells one of these fake news sites, you are barred from using our advertising, that means you can't do it. You are prevented. Another example would be um, if here in the United States you have to be 21 to buy alcohol. So if you try to buy alcohol even at the supermarket and 
they ask for your ID, your identification, and they see you are only 17 years old, they will bar you from buying the alcohol. That means they don't allow it, okay? So in this case, bar is being used as a verb, meaning not to allow. Facebook will bar certain uh, news sites or fake news sites from uh, using the advertising features on Facebook. However, uh, the Facebook founder, Mark Zuckerberg, tried to play down the role of Facebook in the elections. What he said was, it's pretty crazy to think that Facebook could influence the elections. So play down is a phrasal verb, and play down means to de-emphasize, to try to make something seem less important okay so the critics are saying that uh facebook was very important in the election and that the misleading news articles tricked people or deceived people but facebook's leader is saying is trying to play it down saying no it really wasn't that important okay the opposite of play down is play up. So to play up means to make something seem more important, okay, or more uh, obvious. For example, if I use uh, bright red lipstick, I'm trying to play up my lips. I'm trying to emphasize them and make them look important, okay? Whereas if I have, let's say, um, I have a scar or a pimple on my face, then I'm going to try to use makeup to play down that flaw to make it seem less important, okay? So play up means to make something seem more important or emphasize it more. And then play down means to make something seem less important or emphasize it less, give it uh, less significance. So the Facebook uh, founder and owner tried to play down Facebook's influence on the recent election. All right, so those are eight words and phrases from this uh, recent news article about fake news articles appearing on Facebook and Google. I'd love to hear your opinion. So tell me what you think about fake news that appears uh, on the internet. Just leave a comment below this video. And if you're interested in taking a course with me, I have courses in speaking, vocabulary, phrasal verbs. I have one called phrasal verbs in conversation. So it will help you learn phrasal verbs in context. Um, I have eBooks on collocations, confusing words, almost every area of the language. So if you'd like to take a course with me, click on the link that I will put in the description of this video, or just go to espressoenglish.net and then click on courses and eBooks to see what's available. I hope you have been enjoying today's live lesson. Let's see how many people were watching. 76. All right. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.